Hey, welcome everyone. Paul here at Music Villa, Bozeman, Montana, home of Gibson Acoustic Guitars. And I'm with Don Raffato, who is out at the factory day to day and uh, has been looking at a line of guitars probably for quite some time now that uh, you guys are launching on Tuesday, this Tuesday. And uh, we are excited to see this because we've been waiting a long time. This is a new line of guitars called the Generation Series. Generation Collection. Generation Collection, yes. okay. Which consists of a J200 cutaway, a songwriter, an L00, and a, and a J45. We're going to call it the G45, the G00, the G Rider. Correct. And the G200. Yeah. So I'm going to, uh, we're going to go through the line, we're going to break it down, and uh, we're excited. Um, incredible. Price point, I should say, made in America, made in Bozeman, Montana, made by the finest craftsmen in the world. And uh, Don, tell us a little bit about, let's just take one at a time. And we'll kind of like talk about, you know, give us the kind of some history of this and how long it's been in the process. And Well, we found in the archives in our offices in Nashville, we found a drawing from 1964 of a Gibson acoustic. It would never materialize, it was just a drawing with mm -hmm. a sound port on the rib right down here and no sound hole in the front. We thought it was pretty fascinating, so we had our luthiers and our engineers recreate that guitar from the drawing and it was fun, but it just didn't work the way we wanted it to work to mm -hmm. be a Gibson acoustic. So we said, okay, well let's take this concept and turn it into something that applies to our modern guitars, modern building processes, and takes everything we've learned since 1964 and incorporates yeah. the idea of this drawing. Thus, the player port. Okay. And it used to be here on the it used original to be there, drawing. But that's where yeah. your arm would be, right. so it didn't work as well. Uh, and that's what's new to this line. That's what's unique about this whole line is each one of these has that. And I got to tell you, I, I you know, I was kind of messing around with all these and it's it's pretty cool. And I've seen other companies that do that but it's interesting that you guys actually found it on an, on a Gibson from the from 64. You know, we like to say it's it's a new sonic experience for the player and yeah. we also like to think that it allows you to hear more of you. Yeah. To hear the guitar coming right at yeah. you instead of it's still projected out like every good acoustic guitar yeah. would be. But this just gives you, just it gives it more of a presence in your lap yeah. when you're playing. You can hear it for sure. We were covering it and then lifting off and you can kind of, you can tell, uh, you can really hear it coming out. I like looking down at the tag and the back braces, you know, yes. it's just fun. It's, um, uh, it, it's been a cool project. We've been working on this for quite some time and uh, our corporate leadership was really excited about this. Uh, they helped develop it. They gave us the ability to, we've been building these for months and months and yeah. months because when we do the launch right. on the 21st, yeah. we wanted to have the guitars in, in stores. Yeah. Instead of doing a launch and then just taking orders, we built yeah. thousands of these yeah. and had them ready to go. It's the largest launch Gibson has ever done, yeah. period. It's going to be a big one. I mean, you know, just looking at the prices and everything, a guitar of this caliber made in America, there's really nothing like it that I've seen out there. And I got to tell you, let's let's go through some of the specs because the quality and the look and feel um, is really good. It's it's exceeded my expectations. I knew these were coming and I thought, but this is um, incredible looking guitar, everything about it, the, the finish, the, the way it's done. I mean, look at the wood. This is a walnut back and sides. Um, spruce tops. It's got the new players port, and uh, each one represents, you know, the classic Gibson models. So this would be the J45 it's the shape. G, the, yeah, J45 yep. shape. A little bit thinner. This is correct. Yep, and uh, just a great playing guitar. I mean, well, and we're not the only ones that are doing ports, sound yeah. holes in different areas. But yeah. what we have going for us is we took the magic that goes into every Gibson acoustic guitar and expand it on it with the port. You're starting right. with a guitar that's iconic. I mean, these models right. have been just the mainstay of the industry yeah. for decades. And then when you add this new player port dynamic yeah. to that, you're taking something great and making it better. Yeah, and we're gonna do demos of all these uh, individually here after we're done with this video. But uh, let's talk about each one again real quick. Okay. So here's the G00. It's like an L00. Correct. Uh, 
great little you know blues guitar cool just a great great size smaller body then when we get into the the G songwriter and the G 200 they're both cutaways and they both have a pickup in them. Correct. LR the, bags. The non cutaways come fully acoustic. Yep. No electronics involved. Yep. LR bags, Element Bronze. It's a new pickup okay. developed by Lloyd Bags specifically for this oh, product okay. and, for, and specifically for us. It's also in the studio line as well. Okay. But great. it's a great pickup. Yeah, it's got a volume right there. Volume the, control. Yeah. Kind of a unique, unique detail on the two cutaways is the inlay yeah. on the fingerboard. I like it. We wanted to do something modern to kind of just bring it into the yeah. 21st century. And they are not only fingerboard inlays, but they double as the side dot position markers. It's right. one piece that just wraps around the edge. Gotcha. So it's, it's kind of a, a fun thing cool. that yeah. we really haven't seen in, in major market, yeah. major manufacturers having done that type of thing before. Uh, you know, the main thing too that we really like to just extol the virtues of these with the fact that they are built in, like Paul said earlier, in the same factory as we build our regular 200 standards, our custom shop guitars, our original line, mm -hmm. uh, made by the same builders in the same facility. Yeah. And so they have everything going for them that, that every Gibson has. They still have nitro lacquer. Now it is very thin satin lacquer, right. but it is nitro. Right. They still have hot hide glued dovetail neck joints. Yeah. They're still all scallop bracing with the dome top that we put for better projection, better individuality of notes from yeah. a sonic standpoint. Uh, the neck is a comfortable, slim neck to kind of give it that electric guitar feel to kind of attract the younger modern player. Yeah. But it's not so thin that someone that likes a little meat, yeah. it's still there. It's yeah. a very, very happy medium on there. Definitely is for sure. Uh, rosewood fingerboards and bridges, excuse me, striped ebony fingerboards and bridges oh, yeah. on all these which is oh. you know, usually considered quite an upgrade. And yeah. at these price points, utilizing ebony uh, for fingerboards and bridges is, is really a bonus for the player. Well, it's a wonderful lineup. Uh, we are excited to have them. They all come with a gig bag. And um, like I said, it's, it's, it's going to be fun to have these. It's, it's a great price point compared to what you're buying from other you know, overseas or other manufacturers. This is American made. It's a great lineup. You guys did a wonderful job. Uh, we'll get on and we'll do some videos of these. And uh, Don, thanks for coming down. Excellent lineup. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Thank you.